everybody. How you doing? Um, <clears throat> welcome to my channel, Margie B's Fabulous Finds and Marvelous Makeovers. And my name is Margie, Margie Burgett. And um, I was going to do a, a live sale at one today, but it is, uh, I live in Florida here on the Southwest Coast, and it is, well, I'm a mess. Sorry, folks. Uh, it is going to start to storm. And, uh, and then I have trouble with my internet. So I thought I'd get in a live haul. Um, <clears throat> While it's still pretty decent, I'm here in the kitchen where the um, um, lighting is more natural. It's just I got a lot of light coming in, even though it's kind of dreary today. Um, so, um, you know, even if I don't get a lot of people popping on, what I'd like to do is show you a lot of the stuff that I <clears throat> want to be say, say, blah, 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 selling in the next couple of sales because as I mentioned Thursday in my live sale um my husband and I are going to be driving up to uh, hi Georgie Georgie um I need your email to send you a um an invoice I got your I got your uh hi little village vintage me 64 but Georgie I've, I've got your address but I need your email too um so um if I don't get some of this little stuff sold and sent out and out of the house, Bruce is not going to let me go um, thrifting uh, when I'm up in when we're up in uh, Detroit Lakes in Minnesota. Um, his family has a lake cottage up there since 1955, and his brothers and sister live up in that area. Minneapolis. Well, they live in Minneapolis area, but. Um, Oh, there we go. I oh, that's gotta write that down. I is that an I or an L? Uh, L M N. It's an L. I get it. L I. I'm an alien. Where are you an alien from? Outer space or another country? Campbell's Irish, right? Or is it Scottish? Okay, got it. Okay. And, um, and Humpty Dumpty, if you're, um, if you join us today, I don't know, if, if anyone knows what Humpty Dumpty's email is, I, I wanted to get in touch with her because um, um, I haven't heard from her and I wanted to, she bought, she bought a big, quite a big amount at my sale, and I wanted to tell her I was gonna, I was gonna give her a discount on it, so because the shipping's gonna be, um, a little up there. So if anyone knows her or sees her, Campbell was my first married name. Oh, Scottish, yes, Scottish. My, uh, my son married a Campbell from Pennsylvania and uh, back in 2005 we went to the UK and to Scotland and um, our in-laws joined us there for a week it was a lot of fun and we loved it but we didn't make it to Ireland that was supposed to be the next trip and we didn't get we didn't get there and I'm looking really shaggy. I need a haircut so bad, and it's so bad. But anyway, I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff I've been picking up, and um, don't you wish you had the Campbell soup money? <laughs> yeah, don't you wish that? <laughs> oh, that would be nice. <laughs> um, let me show you this bird. I think this bird is so beautiful. <clears throat> And I picked that up, at, at uh, I think, at the Salvation Army one day. But it's got no markings on the back. It looks kind of like there might have been something over here. But it, it almost looks like chalk. But it's, but it's probably a ceramic, I guess, or a stoneware, I suppose. I don't know. But I just thought this was so pretty. But I know I couldn't find anything on it. But uh, it's... There's no real chips or anything. There is some paint loss up here. When I I don't know if that happened when I cleaned it up. 
and a, just a little on the tip. But I thought she was just beautiful. Hi there, Lynn. How are you doing? Um, so anyway, <clears throat> she's pretty. I'm going to have her in a sale. I don't know if I'm going to clump up a bunch of birds. You guys have to let me know. Reclaim Treasures by Mary. Hi, Mary. Uh, welcome to my channel. I don't think I've seen you. Did I see you on here before? But anyway, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that people are finding me. Um, now look at this beautiful little swan. Isn't she pretty? With those flowers. What is it? Potacum monte. I, don't, I can't ever say it. Potimontes. One of you will tell me because you bought that little dish from me. But isn't she beautiful? And she's... Uh, this has a made in Japan little sticker on it, not a gold one though. And then that number on there, PR-17 something five two, I don't know. But uh, if anyone knows anything about this little gal, let me know. Um, I wanted to keep my next sale. <clears throat> that bird is pretty, isn't it, Lynn? Uh, I, I was trying to keep everything um, between the um, 4 and $15 mark. So uh, if any of you know that some of these things should go for more and I should list them on eBay, lately I've just been trying to list um, really big things on eBay like are, and more expensive that I know are more expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, clothes. I... I used to only do clothes a long time ago and um and then I started adding in little little things like this but the little things man it's tedious real tedious yes capa capa de monte oh yeah georgie capa de monte it sounds so french <laughs> maybe it is right does that mean like attached flowers is that what that is <laughs> And then I got this cute little uh, raccoon. It looks like two baby raccoons together. Aren't they cute? I like them. They're from uh, Home Co. And they've got that uh, little Home Co mark, and it's uh, 1454 made in Taiwan, it says there. But I just thought they were just adorable. I picked them up. And... Um, I couldn't find anything on this little thing. It was made in Italy, Italy, whoops, Italy. And I don't know what they're called. And, and they have a couple of little attached flowers at the uh, back here. And nothing seems to be broken. They're, they're like curled over, but not broken. But there are a few little, little chips in here. I mean, it's just a tiny little thing, but it looks old to me on the bottom. Um, so, but I couldn't find anything on it either. A lot of these things I haven't even looked up. Um, but I just decided that I wanted to do something today. I got to keep everybody in my, in, in your minds, on your minds to uh, join me again. Um, I'm going to try, I don't know. I got to try to squeak in a sale. That, well, I'll have my usual sale on Thursday at four, but I'm going to try to in another sale somewhere before that to try to get all this stuff sold. I want to show you some really cute cups I found. Uh, these are from last year, though, I know, because I've had them forever. This one's from the Owls Company by Creative Tops Limited. And um, it's a good-sized mug, pretty heavy, heavy, nice handle. Uh, the owls are all along the top there. It's in perfect condition. I just love this cup, but I don't drink coffee. I I used to drink a lot of tea, um, but that's in the winter when it's cooler. I just can't. Yeah, I love those raccoons. Aren't they cute, Georgie? Uh, but uh, I just love that cup. I think that's really cute. And, um, and then here's this cup with owls that is from, it's a divinity cup, and it's, Boy, my eyes are not what they used to be. Divinity, it's made. In, and it's got a, a lovely little um, 
a Bible verse in there, Job 8, 21. And it says, God will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. So I thought that was sweet. And this is in perfect condition. And I just love all those owls on there. And they're so cute. And it's nice and heavy, pretty good size. And then I've got this little, this is just a little, maybe eight ounce, six ounce cup for tea or something. It's pretty, it's nothing special. It's from China. It's got an older mark on it, I know, but um, I have no idea what it means. But I thought it was real pretty when I picked it up and it's, it's in really good condition. I, I feel a little, maybe a little flea bite or something there. You can't see it, but I can just barely feel it. Hi, Teresa. Glad you could join us. So that's a pretty little cup I'm gonna sell one day. Hopefully some one day soon. And here's a beautiful little picture from uh, from Knowles Company, made in the USA. On the bottom, it's um, got a 52-1. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with the age of this or not. I did find it on under the Knowles creamers with this daffodil and pussy willows on it. And I just thought that was just gorgeous. Um, I'm getting quite a collection of creamers and I haven't put them out and I haven't put them up for sale and I've got to do that because I just don't have room. Hemlock lady, hi. And um, uh, I, I just think it's just so pretty. I love the shape of the handle and it's in perfect condition. I mean, it's just, I don't know if it's ever been used but I just love that. That daffodil, it's one of my favorite flowers anyway, and pussy willows. Does everyone, anyone <clears throat> remember that little poem that you learned in kindergarten about the pussy willows? And, and of course, now we think of pussy in a different way. But in that, those days, back when I was a kid, and I'm 72, almost 72, uh, there was this little poem that goes, I, I know a little pussy, he lives down... Uh, he lives down in the lane, I think lane. You know, little pussy lives down in the lane. He um, I, I don't know. It says he'll always be a pussy. He'll never be a cat because he's a pussy willow. And how about that? There's a line in there I can't remember. But I, I always, I always love that little poem. And I would <clears throat> say that to my daughter when she was a little girl. And she's almost 50. <laughs> so that, and then this is a, um, this is by Theodore Haviland, New York, made in America. It, the the uh, pattern is ter terrain, a little creamer pitcher. It's in perfect condition and, and just very pretty, very, very pretty. Uh, I'm sure there's, a creamer out, I mean, a sugar bowl out there somewhere just dying to have her mate back. And um, I just love this. This is so dainty and cute. I don't do, I do Christmas uh, dishes and I like to change kind of like the color of my dishes for different seasons. Like <clears throat> in the summertime right now, um, I've got red, white, and blue on my on my kitchen table, I don't know if you can see it, there's a vintage tablecloth over a white one and, and, and blue placemats and I like red dishes with those and I have those all the time. And then Christmas and Thanksgiving and stuff like that. I like to put that kind of stuff out. I also found this little thing at a yard sale and oh, this woman was just so, sure this was really collectible, but let me show you really way up close that when I picked this up, it had all of her hair up here was either scratched off or never put on there. And there was a big blob of black right on her eyelid. And me being the, oh, and then there was a bunch of uh, color missing right in here and on her arm. So, you know, me being the painter that I am, I couldn't stand that. So I um, 
I painted it. And then I went, I, I put some paint on it and then I went over it with clear nail polish and I, I think it's much better. You can, you can, um, I think they tried to put an eyebrow on there and it just turned out to be a big black blob. I didn't worry about the eyebrow. I just wanted her hair back. And, uh, and it says on the bottom here, I, I'm sure it's pretty old, but it's, it does say in the bottom here um, that it was made in Japan for the Disney, Walt Disney company, I guess that last word is. It's pretty smeared. So I'm pretty sure it's pretty old, but she let it go because of the paint missing. And, uh, and there are some, I don't know, that looks like a little air hole or something. Uh, there are some little spots of gold paint back here. So the painter that did this, may, maybe it was a novice who was just learning. And I think this is more like a transfer wear maybe. And that the transferred wear did not um, did not stick to her to where it belonged, and it flopped down over her eye. Um, I work with transfer wear a lot on <clears throat> excuse me on um, paintings and and things that I paint and decorate and stuff. And I think that that's probably how that happened up there. And um, so she probably got it uh, at a pretty good deal. And um, and didn't know how to fix it, but I think I fixed it pretty nicely. So that'll go pretty inexpensively. And oh, and here, look at this beauty. This is a Lennox um, little watering can. It is so beautiful and in perfect condition. Look at that. Look at that, how pretty. And it's got this beautiful little blue bird, or I don't know, it's got a red breast, maybe it's a robin, but it looks like a blue bird of happiness to me because it's robins are mostly gray and brownish looking. Um, oh, Carolina lady, hi, welcome. And, um, but I thought this was really pretty. So I don't know, I may have to put this on, um, uh, on eBay because, uh, when I looked it up, most of them were around $30, $40. And, and I don't know if anybody, you, you're going to have to let me know, people, if you want to um, see things like that. I'd probably uh, want to have a listed for about 20 and see what happens. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to do that if um, I, I don't want to um, make the prices too high that people uh, – don't want to come to my sales because, um, you know, I used to look up everything and then price competitively on eBay. Um, and, um, and I knew I, I couldn't go as high as that uh, on, um, on my YouTube channel. Um, but I do want to, I want this stuff to sell because sitting around it gets nicked uh, and, and chipped and I, it breaks my heart. It just breaks my heart when that happens. So um, I've got to have, I've got to do something about that. I've got to have something to drink. I'm getting real thirsty. We're in here for the long haul, ladies. I'm just going to keep going. D doesn't come on until three o'clock. Who knows? I may be here till then. Because that's how much stuff I have. And like I said, you can comment and say, and go back and tell me um, what you uh, what you liked and would like to see up for sale, and um, and we'll figure out a date and do it. Now I found these two things. I thought these are gorgeous. Get these out of the way here. Yeah, I think these are mid-century candle holders. They need to be cleaned up. They're perfect. They're cobalt. That cobalt blue. And I did look up a lot of cobalt blue candle holders from the 60s and, um, and 70s. I don't remember if I saw any earlier than that or not. But um, these do have a few bubbles in the glass, and there's a little bubble right there. 
and I think they were hand blown because I can feel that little spot on the bottom there where um, where they break it off of the the metal thing that the rod that they blow it on. Now these are very dirty. They need to be cleaned up here. Uh, so that's not in the on the glass itself. But aren't those pretty? That is just beautiful. So I haven't been able to find this particular design. I found other designs, but not this. So I don't know. I'd have to find out if people were interested in buying this on the YouTube channel or if I should put it on eBay. And I'm hoping you ladies can give me some advice about that. I don't want to break these. I like being here because I can look out on the canal. We live in on a canal here. And uh, my husband, he's been out working on the sailboat, and he is 73 now, and um, I like to keep an eye on him so he doesn't fall off of there when it, if it tips with the wind or something. He's just been kind of tying it down um, for hurricane season before we go um, up to Minnesota. We used to have a cute little sailboat up in Minnesota that we would sail on the lake, um, um, but we've and then they had a, and we had a um, a little a runabout, a 19 foot one runabout, which we ended up bringing down here <clears throat> because we felt it was nobody was water skiing anymore, and that the pontoon boat would be more fun. So we bought the runabout from his sister and our his brother-in-law and on a on a weekend he was Bruce was still working then and it was about oh I don't know about five years ago now I think we um uh let's see what do we do I I think we left on a maybe we left on a Wednesday night um and or a Wednesday yeah Wednesday night and we drove and drove and drove and then um Thursday Thanksgiving we were like in um Champlain, maybe we left early, early, early Thursday morning. I don't remember. We were in Sh Champlain, Illinois, and we uh, stayed there. And then, and then the next day we took off for uh, Minnesota and and um, went up to the lake, and it was just so freezing cold and snow. And uh, we uh, got the boat hooked up to our to his trailer, and then we um, – we stayed one night in a hotel there and ate at our favorite restaurant. And then we headed for Minnesota back to Minneapolis where his brother put us up for one night. And then we, um, we headed back home. So it was a, it was a real fast dashing to get to um, Indiana. I get to get back to Florida here before Monday when Bruce had to go back to work. I have these cute little, little, I can't remember how to say this. Uh, Hey, Bruce, are you in here? No. What are these? Um, Carastoga, or I don't know how to say that. Little wagons from Texas, little salt shakers. They still have their um, stoppers in them. I, I saw them online, but I didn't see prices, so I don't know. Probably, I don't know. What do you think? Four or five dollars, whatever. Covered wagon, yeah, I know they're covered wagons, but they're a diff they're, they've got a particular name. <sighs> my my husband would know. And uh, somebody else has them. Um, maybe it's Jeffrey at um, Real Vintage. What is his name? Real something vintage uh, in from North Carolina. So these aren't, <laughs> uh, yes. Conestoga wagon, yeah. So is that how did how you say it? Yeah, that's it, man. And so they'll they'll be up for sale one of these days. And then um, I found these cute little things last year in Minnesota. This family they had about five family members who were all adults and grown up, and they were cleaning out their parents' place. The parents must have been going into assisted living or going to live with one of them. And 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 they all got their stuff together and, and rented this old pole barn, and it was open for a week. 
and it was right on the way from the lake to town. <clears throat> and I had to pass it like every day. So I must have gone three or four times because every time I'd go, they somebody would bring out more stuff, one of them family members. I had such a good time there. It was just, so that's why I have so much stuff because their stuff was so cute. But they had these cute little people and they have a, a name and I wrote it down somewhere, but I didn't think to get the paper. Um, I'm not gonna sell them as a pair because I'm gonna end up selling them for about $7, $8 a piece because they're, they're pretty collectible. Um, they're made in Japan. They've got that blue sticker on the bottom. And there are, there are other really cute pieces that they have one where a little guy is sitting on, um, on a bench and they have, and he's got his leg up on the bench and, and he's got his, where this little hole is, I mean, where this little mouth, Lee's lips are, is a hole and, and his little hand is up and he's supposed to be chewing on a little piece of grass or something. And that was missing, but, but, um, the person that was selling them said, well, you can find a little something to put in there. And, and that's true. So I'll probably be listing this for about, um, I don't know. You, I mean, you can look these up. They're just adorable. I wish I could think of the name now, boy. It starts with a K. It's, it's not kitschy, but it's real close to kitschy. And it's, um, and they're just all, the faces are all pretty much the same, but the poses are all different and they would have different animals and that little bird is so cute. And then the kitty here and got one with um doggy and so I'll be selling those for about seven or eight dollars a piece, I think. Maybe less. I'll keep looking. Sometimes the price goes down, so I go down. So what else? Oh, and I found these two little... um these on the bottom say um, occupied Japan at the bottom, but they're so dirty, they're silver that you can't see it. But the little salt and pepper shaker, and I was real surprised, get over here, about how different the size the holes are. Now I've seen these all shined up together um, and the holes are, are like this. One's real big and I don't know if that's pepper or salt, and then these are much smaller. Uh, but I, I'm going to clean them up just a little bit because um, I want people to know that you know they they do shine up a little bit. But uh, they'll be up for sale. These little Japanese silver salt and pepper shakers, and um, and then I've got another picture. This picture is from Japan. Just a little tiny guy hand painted. I think he's probably pretty old. I didn't see, I didn't look him up or anything yet, but uh, he's about uh, three inches maybe. Be real cute and a little, um, a little uh, assemblage or vignette. Very cute. I love the colors. I love the hand painting. And I'm going to Put that out for five or six dollars. Here's another one, a real nice one. This one is Japan also, and it is Royal Sealy, China. And on the bottom in their emblem, they have a seal that has really long legs, I think, for us, our flippers for a seal, but I think you can see it there. Um, but this little picture, it, again, probably hand painted, um, but it's got a little tiny chip right there, right there. Well, it's not such a tiny chip. It's actually down a bit on the picture. And uh, and then a little spot on this backside that's, that I, I think that was probably um, in the, in the firing of this piece, it, it was up against another piece or something. And then they got paint in it and didn't get it and it wouldn't come out or missed it. But, um, but I think it's cute and, and I'll probably ask like five or six dollars for that little guy. It's got that little twirl pattern that I think is just so lovely. And it, you know, the 
the chip is in the back. Uh, and I, I don't think it's real noticeable. I certainly didn't notice it when I picked it up. Who knows, maybe I did it bringing it home. It, a lot of this stuff had to come from Minnesota in the back of the car. I even put a few things in the um, in a suitcase that I picked up at uh, Goodwill or someplace. Things I really, I wanted to um, list right away. Uh, and two of them were some real cute left and things, you know, the, the old couple sitting on a park bench and eating, um, and then uh, another, the pie thief, uh, you've probably seen him before running, they they both got broken, so I glued them and kept them, darn, I, <laughs> but I really liked them, so I didn't mind keeping them, and they don't look too bad. All right, so now I'm going to... I'm going to start unwrapping stuff. How do you say this kind of wagon, Bruce? Canastoga. Canastoga, yeah, I think that's what you said. Oh, Canastoga, yeah. Canastoga, Canastoga, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's see. I, I don't even know what I've got in here. They've been wrapped up. For them, so, okay. There's a sleeping cat. A sleeping cat. Now these have not been cleaned up or washed or anything. Uh, still has its sticker, three ninety nine, but I probably got it for half price. I don't usually go that high. This says made in China, uh, and it's got the felt on the bottom um, at first, and it's a little ledge, a ledge cat. But I think he'll clean up real nice. If if he doesn't sell, he's pretty heavy. If he doesn't sell. Or if I don't put him in a um, one of our one of my YouTube sales, I'll put him on um, eBay. But and if he doesn't clean up real well, I'll probably just give him a fresh coat of white paint, and then maybe um, distress him with a little white wax or dark wax, gray wax. I like to do that. But I thought he was really cute. Put him over here. It is sweet, isn't it, George? Okay. Oh, uh, this was a real pretty clock. Now I have not. This is made in England by Ainsley, established in 1775. The Ainsley Company, fine bone china. Cottage Garden is the is the um, is the design pattern. Look at that clock! Isn't that pretty? Little table clock, and there's no marks or anything on it. And I'm sure that if I pop this out, they usually come out. Yeah, this isn't come out. And, oh, it doesn't have any battery in it. So maybe with a new battery, it'll work. And I'll put it back in. That's the original clock. It has the Ainsley on it as well. I love these clocks. I've got two of them that I was going to sell and kept. <laughs> the one's in here and one's in the other room, these little table clocks. But they both worked after you put in batteries and... And uh, so there it is. I just love it. And I haven't looked it up or anything, but it'll go in a sale sometime. Um, oh, and look at this little guy. He does not have anything on the bottom. This came from, um, I think this was from my brother's collection. They had Scotties and, uh, and loved Scotties. Although these look like Terry, Karn Terriers because they're all white, but they love those too. They just didn't have those. Uh, but isn't that a cute piece? It's beautiful. The gray that's so popular now uh, with the wood grain. So it looks like a um, a farmhouse piece, I thought. And uh, it's, it's a little heavy. It's got the gold highlights. I just love it. But I don't know where it's from because the red is on the bottom. Old junk. Hi, old junk. Hey, y'all. Where are you from? 
my southern friend. Old Junk, do you have a channel too? Yes. Anyway, there's that. I like to write. I like to write you all down, and then I go and I subscribe to your channels if you have it. So, let us know if you have a channel and and what your first name is. If you don't want to be called Old Junk all the time, we'll call you by your first name. I found a whole family of these bells. And they're all pretty little girls sitting on top of these bells. See their cute little feet? And they're all a little different. They all have little different hairstyles or they're doing something a little different. And this one says, what does it say? This, this one says made in Taiwan. Most of them don't have stickers. Let me see if I can find some more. So there's that one. And there's this one. She's sitting forward. She, her sticker has fallen off. They're all little bells. Her hair is a little different, but they're obviously sisters. Maybe they're quints. I don't know how many I have. I don't remember, but I'm going to keep showing you. There's those two pretty little faces. Look at those faces. And this one's got short hair. That's some looks like me when I was a kid with that short hair. I was the only kid that never had long hair. My mother always kept my hair short, and I never grew it long. Like most kids of the 60s and 70s had their hair halfway down their backs. And my daughter, growing up, I always had kept her hair real long. But, but not me. I had the short hair and still do. But isn't she precious? You see, there's a little... Tiny nick in the back there on her. Um, she's got the prettiest. They all have the same cute little dresses on, Simul similar dresses. I found such wonderful people and channels. I write them down too and then subscribe to them. Yeah, Georgie, that's the only way you can find all this, uh, all these wonderful people. And I just love them to death. I really, really do. Now, this is one. Oh, man, that's a new mark. Shoot. I got to quit. I got to get these around in bags. So what do you think? This is Fenton. So, and I, I think that's uh, um, Benjamin Franklin and George Washington and probably old Thomas Jefferson. Has anybody watched Hamilton? Yeah, I just loved watching that and it, it made me laugh so hard when Jefferson came out um, all wild and crazy. And this says, um, issue January 1st, 1974, number two in a series of four, official United States of America Bicentennial Commemorative Project of the General Federation of Women's Clubs. Well, what are these four guys doing there? Where's the woman? Um, Benjamin Franklin, oh, John Adams, and Thomas Jefferson. So that isn't George. He must have passed away already, probably, right? Thomas Jefferson, uh, meet to draft the Declaration of Independence. This document approved 
on July 4th, 19, or 1776, is the most profound statement of democratic principles ever written. It announced the birth of the new nation, the United States of America. It's just a real pretty, it needs cleaning up real, real good cleaning up. But it's like that, it's not Wedgwood, but I don't know what this is called. It's like, kind of like that Jasper, but in blue, but you can kind of see through it a little bit. Um, but I thought that was just too pretty and it's in perfect condition. I don't feel any nicks or anything. It just needs cleaning up real good. As far as I can tell, oh, on the bottom it says, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, somebody, uh, somebody needs to read this over real well and not try to change it up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna subscribe to old junk. I think I already did subscribe, subscribe to you, little vintage me, sixty four. I saw you on. Um, I don't know, Jeffrey or somebody's channel and uh, and wrote down some names there. Um, let's see what what else we can find. Oh, look at this cute little girl. She is adorable. She has no markings on the bottom that I can feel or see, but isn't she cute? A little bird on her head. And um, I noticed that her two little fingers here are chipped a little bit. You, you can still see them in the, get over here. You can still see them in the front, but from this view, you can see that they're chipped a bit. But I just love, I just love her um, facial expression with that bird on her head. And um, that's about the only thing wrong with her. She needs a little bath, a little scrubbing. Oh, I love her, I do too, yeah, she does, starling. Uh, let's see, that guy has something else that goes with it, so I'll put it in. Oh. I will later on, but thank you. Yeah, I will definitely, but I'm still full. So here are here are a couple of salt shakers. Um, I don't know if that's silver up there or plastic. No, it's some kind of a metal. Oops. Uh, I don't know what kind, and it's, I don't know the design name either, if any of you recognize that maker or design. Uh, let's see, it has a, it has a, a, a three, I think, on the bottom, I, I, I guess it could be a cursive E, but it looks like a three to me. But I thought those were real cute. And, and then I found these salt and pepper shakers. They had the same top. And this one's kind of discolored. So maybe it'll clean up with some silver cleaner. Um, it's metal also, but I don't know what kind. But that kind of looks like, on the bottom, doesn't that kind of look like a a Fenton or Anchor Hocking or something on the bottom? But I just thought they were really cute. You need cleaning up a little bit, too. The tip on this one's ugh, a little funky. But I thought they were real cute. Are those hearts for the salt shakers? Little vintage me, 64. Okay, let's see. A 
Oh, another little boy from that same grouping that I found. I think there are three of these maybe, and maybe I should sell them as a grouping. Now his, his hand is all there. It feels like it's all there. Got a little slingshot. When I was growing up, my best friend, um, there was a little boy doll and she always, from, we went to school together from kindergarten on up through high school and I was in her wedding and so on. And, and um, I bought her a little doll in downtown Chicago. I lived in Crown Point, Indiana. And, and uh, there was a doll at Marshall Fields that was a little boy doll kind of dressed this way. And he had a slingshot in his back pocket. And when you pulled out that slingshot, he said, hey, give me that back. That's mine. And um, I gave her that doll and it was so cute. It was a life, it was probably a, 12, maybe even a 16 inch doll like the American Girl dolls now, but it was definitely a little boy dressed very much like this, just adorable. And uh, she can't remember what she did with it, but I just couldn't resist that for her because she always, and her first child was a boy and of course he's all grown up, he's my godson and all grown up with a family of his own. Yeah. FaceTime with her every day, every Thursday morning usually, but I've been pretty busy with my sales coming up since I started these sales. I think we're going to have to find a different day. Oh, that's another little Indian doll. I've got a bunch of these little Indian Indian pieces that I noticed. Um, I noticed this one got a chip on it, and I'll probably end up touching that up with some paint before I sell them. I probably should just put the whole grouping together and put them on um, on eBay because there's about six or seven of them. And they were each a couple dollars a piece to me. And like they all have the name and this one is 1994 and it's from the Inesco Corporation designed by Karen Hahn. Gotta have a hug. This one's called her and her sister, her mama. But I just think those are precious. And here's a little boy. He's got, instead of having a headdress, he's got a turkey on his back that he carries around for his own headdress. And he was a cute little boy doll once sold called My Buddy. Maybe that was it. Um, how long ago? I'm talking probably the um, mid 60s for this little doll. Uh, like, well, no, I graduated high school in 66. So maybe it was, and she got married later that year, or maybe in 67. So maybe it was around 66, 67, 68, somewhere in there, because I worked downtown Chicago then at a law firm and, and I went and Lunchtime, spent all my money that I made. Bought clothes and shared them with my sister, and we had fashion shows. And this is called, oh, this one doesn't have a name. And this one says made in China. 1995. This one, no wonder he chipped. He didn't have the quality of this one that was made in the U.S. Oh, I don't know. It had a sticker down there. I don't know what that sticker said. It's too covered up. Um, let me see if I can find any more of those. Oh, another bell. Another bell doll. Doll bell. Um, now, she's a different style all together. She's got a little rose in her hand. She's that brown and, and cream color again, but I don't think she's the same at all. Yeah, no, she's not. Look, she's all different, but she was pretty, pretty nice. She's got a little indentations of some flowers down at the bottom there. And She's, she's not as cute, but I think she's older than these other ones. 
doesn't say where she was made, but she's cute. Did you get a good look at her? I kind of made that kind of quick. He was cute. Maybe they still make him. I don't know. I'll have to look him up. I remember him in the early 70s. I guess he could be in the early 70s. Um, I mean, we've always been friends and close, so that could very well be. Maybe I gave it to her when her son was born. I don't know, but that, I don't think so. I think it was before he came along. Um, here's another little picture, stoneware picture. Uh, in nice shape, but looks handmade, but, uh, oh, it, it's signed here. It is signed by somebody. Somebody right there that I cannot make out quite make out. Like I said, I haven't looked any of these up yet, but little stoneware creamer, handmade, hand carved, signed, very nice. How tall is he? Are you talking about that doll? I, I, don't, I don't think Janice has it anymore, if that's what you're talking about. Or how tall is she? Which, which thing are you talking about now, Linda? Um, I will be happy to measure. Oh, the bell, this last one, this, this one right here. Let me get a tape measure. I think she's about five inches, maybe six. Let me go get a tape measure. I should have brought it over here. I, I knew I could guess that. Now, if you, um, if you see something that you want to write down and, and ask me about, um, uh, you know, I, I think uh, for sure Linda has my uh, email. Uh, this doll, Bell, is about five and a half inches up to the tip and down to the bottom there, five and a half inches. And... Uh, See, she was three dollars. So I'll probably charge like uh, six dollars for her. And so, if you want something like this, write it down and you know just give me a description. And, and she has a rose in her hand, and that would help me remember. And just email me because I, like I said, I haven't looked them up, but uh, I'd be happy to wrap them up. Send it out. Let's see. Got another little Indian, I think, here. This is another one made in the USA. Now, this says Friends of Feathers. Must have been a bunch of different companies that made these. Usually, I have that my uh, computer up higher and then tilted more. Uh, but So you can see what I'm doing here when I'm in the kitchen. So this one here says Leaf Dancer, 1995, I think. I gotta get the goo off the back. But um, this one's laying in a bunch of pretty feathers. I was going to, I the, and these probably will be saved for uh, fall. Either, either I'll put the whole bunch of them together and sell them, um, as a set in in the autumn when I get back from Minnesota, it'll be uh, mid-August, probably in September. I'll do a uh, an autumn getting ready for Thanksgiving type sale. I think that's what I'll do with these. 
if nobody wants them in a sale altogether, then I'll probably end up putting them on eBay. But I think that's rather than sell them, try to sell them all individually. Uh, I'll, I'll put them all together. But I bought them individually, I know, but we'll see. The bell. It was bell day when I found these, I guess. Oh, now this little girl, isn't she cute? She must have had something in her hands. I, like I said, I haven't looked this up yet. But it looks like she'd have maybe a little, but it doesn't feel like anything was broken off there. They're very smooth, and they've got their glaze on them and everything. But she looks like she had um, something in her hands. I'm going to look these up, Google them, and try to find out what she was holding um, in her hands. But isn't she? Whoa! Almost dropped an Indian. One little Indian. What's that song? One little, two little, three little Indians. Four little, five little, six little Indians. All right. So here are these. This newest little. She looks. She's got the brown dress on. She must be this sister's best friend. Maybe a twin. Yeah. Totally different hair to them. Oh, more Indians. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Here is now this little Indian. Her little uh, a drumstick got broken, and I will definitely be fixing that little drumstick back to where it belongs on her. Oh, she's an angel. She's called Sounds of Joy, 1999. Friends of Feathers. So she, she goes there. She's adorable. I hope I can fix that little, see that little uh, thing dangling down here? That's what she uses to to beat on her hollow log or decorated log or stick. Might even be a piece of bamboo or something, but um, but I'm a gluer. I'll glue it. It'll be fine. I'm gonna put these over here out of the way. Are we having fun yet? I should put some music on or something. Uh, oh, bye, little vintage me, 64. Oh, who's leaving? You're leaving us? Okay. My, okay, my little vintage, little vintage me, 64. Is my little vintage something different? Did I have a my little vintage on here? All right, well, whoever's going, bye. Thank you for coming by. I'll, I'll be posting more. I haven't figured out, I don't know if anyone could tell me this or not. Uh, as I have said many times, I, I really uh, don't know. This live thing is all I know how to do. I haven't been able, because I have an Android phone and a Mac book, I have not been able to figure out how to do videos on my phone and put them on my, Mac, my MacBook. They don't, and, I, and this phone, I, I hate this phone because it's an LG. I mean, if, if I weren't doing YouTube, it'd probably be a fine, It'd be an okay phone, except this phone won't even do my cha-ching when I get an eBay sale. And that really irritated me. I even went back in and and it was past the 14 days or I'd have traded it in because I even went to LG and said, why don't you have that cha-ching sound available on here? And and, um, and they said, um, whoever I talked to said that, you know, they didn't know they weren't the ones that, decided those things so so I have not figured out how to just make a video a plain video and upload a plain video like people do all the time you know here's my haul video and they show you all that stuff and then you go on and go down into the com the comments and make comments after you've seen it um, after you've you found it on um, on YouTube 
Which one's precious? The little Indian? That oh, this one's cute. Look at she's got a little lamb. She what what's her name? What's she called here? Oh, there went her, her sticker. Yeah, these were made. These were all made in China. This one is this one's 1994. Again, designed by Karen Hahn. And ah, this glue or crap on the bottom is covering up the name. Oh, she's called, evidently her Indian name is She Who Cares A Lot. That's her Indian name. And see what I mean? That gooey stuff on the bottom? I'm going to have to get that all off. And when I tore off the price tag, it took off the Made in China sticker, which I'm sure nobody cares about that so much, but but um, except the people in China that made it. Um, no, I don't know why we can't make these things here since the designer lives in the United States, but who knows? Maybe she lives in China, but she just came from, who knows? I don't know. I know nothing, John Snow. Let's see. Oh, another Indian. Oh, isn't she pretty? And she has a flower. She's trying to attach a flower to the end of her braid. Oops, there she is. See her there? Because this side, see the flower on the end of her braid? Oh, no, maybe it's not there yet. I think that flower fell off. These things were roughly handled. This is a 1994 also. And it is the UNESCO Corporation that put these out, but they were made in China. Um, and they all need like a little bit of cleaning, but um, yeah, I think that little daisy fell off the back. Maybe I can get you know, our friend Dee from uh, The Thrill of the Thrift is a clay artist. Maybe I can ask her to make me a tiny little daisy like that and send it to me and I'll glue it right back on there. How about that? I have, I do some stuff with, with the paper um, clay, but it's not my forte. I paint, mostly paint. Um, Okay, let's see. Ooh, another little, um, another little pitcher, little blue pitcher, stoneware, the heart on it. Um, speckled, real cute with that sort of a grayish blue or bluish gray. Uh, no mark on the bottom. So for the oh, well, there might have been a, there might have been a mark under that sticker, but I can't exactly tell what it's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be a flower? Anybody recognize that as a mark or just dirt? Uh, but it's a cute little, very heavy for its size because it's only about three, three inches tall. If you don't like that heart, which some people don't, you can always just turn it around, set it up with your other pictures. I just love it. She, yes, she is. She's precious. She, yeah. Uh, okay, so here's this cute little picture. This must have been $2.99 day at the Salvation Army, which I usually go on Wednesdays, so maybe they were half price then. Oh, I think my daughter secretly wants this because my older sister just passed away last August and uh, we miss her so much because she was just the glue of our family. She was um, my older brother. There were four there. There were four of us. And now it's just um, me, the baby and my brother, Ted, who's in uh, he's in Crown Point, Indiana, in our hometown right now, visiting friends from 
high school um, that he, we used to do that every summer because because my sister lived in Valparaiso, which is about 30 miles uh, from us east. And Valparaiso University is a pretty big Lutheran college there in, Val, in Valpo, Indiana, Valparaiso, Indiana. And uh, we used to visit her every summer. So this is the first this summer we're not uh, because she passed last August, like the 28th or 29th, somewhere right before my birthday. It just crushed me. We, we were up at the lake in Detroit Lakes, and I knew she was sick, and we had seen her already twice that summer when she was still able to um, communicate and everything. But we, her darling daughter, Diana, kept her at home uh, because that's what she wanted. They got the, um, they have really good care in Indiana, I think. Uh, for the elderly uh, that these visiting nurses came in every day to see her and check on her. Thank you, old junk. Um, she, um, she just, uh, the best of us for sure. But anyway, she loved butterflies. And uh, this is an old Avon egg made in Japan for Avon in 1979, I might have to keep this, but um, because I had an egg that I had given to my mother from Avon when Chrissy was about three, 50, 47 years ago, or 46, she, I sold Avon uh, in Indiana. It was like, you know, new then, well, not almost new, but I, I had lots of Avon bottles and things, but uh, there was this egg that had, um, it has flowers or violets on it. I still have it here. I kept that because I gave it to my mom. And then when she passed away, I took it back. But I think probably I'll give this to my daughter. But isn't that pretty with all those butterflies? It reminds us of my sister Phyllis. She was the best. And so pretty. Okay, moving on here. Let's see, I got another bell of some kind. This is a more delicate bell. I found a bunch of these birthday bells that have these attached flowers. And this one is November, which was my mother's birthday month. She, she passed in... Um, when did she pass? She passed in, uh, I think it was in March of 2005. And then we went on that trip to Europe, the UK that year and in August and September. And I remember I was my first birthday, uh, 2005 was my first birthday where my mother didn't call me on my birthday, you know, and we were in Scotland that day. All I did was cry all day long. It was miserable. <laughs> but um, this girl is very pretty. She's got a lovely sound. She's November. She is made in Taiwan. I had that other one somewhere. I don't know where I put her already. I thought. Maybe not, maybe. I haven't run across any more of her, but she's very, very delicate, very pretty. I have a couple more. The one that was September, which is my birth month, the flowers are broken, of course, so I didn't pick it up. I better point that back a little bit. Um, your mother loved birds, yeah. Um, I don't know what my favorite, what mom's favorite was as far as that. She loved me. She loved doing needlepoint and, well, not needlepoint, but embroidery. She did a lot of embroidery, and it was kind of funny because she, um, right before she needed cataract surgery, all her things that were supposed to be violet would turn out to be brown. And then she had her cataract surgery, and she looked at those things she'd been working on, and she said, oh, nuts. Now I have to take out all this brown because it's supposed to be violet or purple or whatever. She was so funny. She was a stitch. I miss her too. Let's see. Oh, speaking of birds, look at this thing. Um, its sticker is gone, but it looks old to me. If anyone recognizes whatever this maker is, it's got uh, some 
uh, gold trim on it and this beautiful little canary on the top. And it must be like a little candy dish, I would think, that you would just sit out on a table. Yeah, my mom loved flowers, that's for sure. Um, I, I, I think she just liked geraniums really well. And isn't that pretty? I think I have to look this up. I have not done anything on this. It certainly looks hand, hand molded. Um, you can just kind of tell that this was all handmade and then put together and then glazed with that green and highlighted with the gold. I just think it's so pretty. There's this little branch that the bird is sitting on. Uh, there's a little spot right there and right there on this side that are a little, you can see they're gray rather than the glaze color. So that would be right here and here. They're much bigger looking on the, I think on the camera than they really are. That's the only blemishes I see. Again, dirty, needs to be cleaned up. It's been wrapped up a while now. But after I look her up and price her, she'll be available. Got a golden beak. She was pretty. That was a nice piece. Okay, that bag is empty. Got any coffee drinkers? I don't drink coffee much, but here I liked this one. I'm sorry for what I said before I had my coffee. <laughs> I thought that was funny. It's about a 12 ounce. Um, I don't think it's 16 ounce. I don't think it would hold, but I'm sure it would hold 12 ounces, but that's a pretty heavy cup. Put this up there. What else have we got? show you ladies we gents probably no gents but ladies i love seeing you ladies here what is this oh this is for a baby this is a baby light um baby's on a cloud the star's on a cloud baby's on the star and everything's all covering up with stickers Again, this is pretty dirty. Got to get it cleaned up. Uh, but this appears to be an excellent beside. Oh, no, she's got, uh, that's pretty bad on her foot. I did not notice that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to give that some attention before I try to sell it. See that foot? That foot's broken. I did not notice that when I was picking things up. I go with my daughter. My daughter has some quite a few health issues, and and she's a she's pretty she's mildly or medium agoraphobic. So to get her to go somewhere with me now, this would would have been maybe early like in January or what. But since this uh, COVID nineteen has happened. I mean, that's her cup of tea because now she can visit her doctors, uh, most of her doctors online, and that works for her. Uh, so um, when, when she's with me, I have to hurry up because she does not like to um, be out amongst a lot of people. And she never did even as a kid. But I did not notice that's broken. I'll bet you that got broken since I picked it up because I don't remember that. Maybe I'll fix it. Maybe I'll just redonate it. But I thought that was real cute. I have another um, baby light that is not broken where the baby's on a half moon. And it's very much like this. This is, um, who made this? This is Brins, B-R-I-N-N-S, made in Taiwan from PGH, Pennsylvania. See that? And I'll bet anything that I broke that since I got it because it's been 
packed away and, and in a stupid bag. And those things just can't be handled that way. And I know better, but... I bet that this is, this is called Seraphin Cl Classics, 1999, Roman ink, it's numbered, number 81632, and you can even write in here, inside here, you can write a date on there, and who it's to, to, from, and the date inside this bell if you wanted to. And it appears to be okay. It is really beautiful. It's got those doves on the side and these flowers. And, oh, and it needs cleaning up really bad, but. Isn't that pretty? Except for the dirt, she's really pretty. And she's got her clacker. Sounds pretty nice. I like that. That's pretty good. Let's see what else. Oh, I did kind of look these up one time, but I don't remember now um, what they really are. Savor Vivre, I don't know how old they are either, from Japan, these bowls. But I have two of them. They're just like, they're in perfect condition. At least they were when I bought them. They look to be still in perfect condition. Aren't those pretty? I like those a lot with these grapes and raspberries, cherries, and a daisy all in that pattern there. Right over the top. I still have that sticker on the bottom, which I would like to preserve if I can, if I sell these. But aren't those nice? I don't know what they're for. Candy, maybe. I don't know, but there are two of them. Very pretty. Running out of room. Look at this guy. 1960. 1960 Samson Imports, Samson Imports, Japan, number 431A. See the bottom, you got some wear and tear going on there. Uh, there. And as close as I can tell, all that's little spaghetti decorations around her feet and her hair and her little hair <laughs> crown are undamaged. Probably not to try to pack her away so that she stays undamaged. And she's big. She's, um, <clears throat> she can't how tall she is. She's, She looks about eight and a half inches tall. And then her body is about six inches. She's just so cute with that little, walk, little leg kicked out in the back there for walking. You know, she's just adorable. I just love her. I don't have any babies anymore. I had four granddaughters, but I didn't have this to give them a an arrangement in, but 
1960. That friend of mine that I said I grew up with and, and um, played with all those years and still and gave the doll to, her family owned a florist, um, a really big florist in Crown Point, Indiana, called the Lee, Lake County Florist. They provided roses for all of the Chicago area, whoever, you know, uh, they, they had <clears throat> on two different sites. They had just greenhouse after greenhouse after greenhouse, and they grew long-stemmed roses and, babe, and uh, the, the so short sweetheart roses and every color imaginable. Um, and I think I mentioned the other day, remember I, I, to some of you gals about the um, – uh, Queen for a Day show. They provided the yellow roses for that Queen for a Day show back in the 50s. Um, but, but this is in lovely shape. And she'll be up for sale sometime. I don't know how much she's worth. I haven't looked her up yet. She may end up on eBay. But um, yeah, that that is just beautiful. Oh, I like gifting those older planters for baby showers with a bamboo plant. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. That is supposed to bring you luck. Yeah. That's a real nice gift. Yeah. Oh, I gift me one when my daughter was born. I just love it. Yeah. They are precious. This is the nicest one I've ever found. So, um, I don't know where she'll go, but she'll go somewhere. Uh, All right, let's see. Now these are where's the bottom to this? I just had it. I don't remember the last card. Oh, no, here. So these I grabbed at the last minute, um, the last time I was shopping. This is a little uh, cat sugar bowl. And, of course, they're modern. But she's, I don't know how modern they are. I mean, they might be from the 60s, I guess. They could be. She's missing her spoon, of course. They're always missing their spoon. And... Um, and this was from Crazy Cat's Pottery, Mount Clemens, Cozy Cat's, I'm sorry, Cozy Cat's Pottery. But I don't know when that was made. The sticker's kind of old looking. And um, and then also um, there was the creamer. Whoop. And they both appear to be in pretty good shape, except the spoon's missing. I don't think this little um, cat fits real well on the top, but it has to go with it. I mean, you know, where else would it go? But that's a cute little set. And the little creamer, and they look to be in pretty good condition. But I can see the bottoms do look kind of old on these, though. I don't know. But those are adorable, adorable, adorable. Somebody who told me I should look for cats all the time. Um, one of you ladies. Got a big cleanup job to do when I'm done here. Oh, I found two of these birds, but they don't have any markings on them either. But I thought these were really cool at the time. They're pottery of some kind. Um, it's off of the nice part here. Look hand painted. I don't know if they're handmade. They kind of look handmade, but it's hard to tell. But the bottoms look kind of old, don't they? 
and it's got um, this one's got a little spot there. I'm, like I said, I've never looked at this stuff up, but I think that's a manufacturing thing because it's it's very unusual. Okay, are you going to get away from me? Yep. He's going to get away from me. You could go in your bedroom and watch TV or in your office. My husband's not into thrifting like I am. When he sees all this stuff, he's like, oh, when is she going to get rid of this? That's why I have to get some sales uh, going and get rid of some of this stuff or he's not going to. I mean, he's the one driving the car when I pass some thrift place and I go, stop there. And he just keeps on going. Anybody else have that problem? I really appreciate the variety you have, Margie. Well, thank you, Georgie. I wish I, wish I could find a date where I could, I mean, you know, I can't expect the same five people to buy all my stuff all the time. I wish that I could get a bigger crowd here to um, to, uh, to shop, but pass on the word. When is your next sale? Well, there will definitely be one Thursday at four coming up, but they will. I will try to find a date before then. I don't know if it'll be Monday or Tuesday. Um, probably not Wednesday. Uh, but I've got to make sure I don't hit on um, anybody else's, on top of anyone else's sale, because that doesn't help either of us. And, and these people were doing it before me, so I'm sure that they don't like him trampled on. Now this little bird looks like a quail, doesn't she? And, and she's got a little um, W on the bottom, I think. I think that line underneath. So I think she was all handmade and painted. And I thought she was really cool. She's got little feet to give her some height in the front. And I really think she's some sort of a quail. See how pretty she is? And the bottom is nice and she's in perfect shape. She's pretty heavy. Monday, Mondays are Usually good. Yeah, I was thinking of doing Wednesday. Wednesdays, there's a lot of sales. Yeah, exactly. Um, I might try to stick one in. Neither is mine or either. I might try to stick one in on Monday. I was going to do one today. My daughter couldn't come because she just felt terrible with a migraine. And, uh, and it's supposed to start raining, although today was supposed to be the worst day ever. And, um, and to tomorrow, but it looks like to me, it's breaking up a little bit and moving, but that doesn't really mean that, that it won't, um, won't come because um, we've down, been down here now 23 years and um, the summer times every day, usually, I used to remember that I used to work at a optical store at the mall over in Fort Myers. Um, when we first moved down here, I was an optician I was not, I was a, I wasn't a, an optician. I dispensed glasses and, and I bought, I was like the buyer when the people would, when the um, salespeople would come in with all their different new glass frames, I sat down and picked out what we, what I thought would sell in our little town of Crown Point. And, um, and then when, when uh, the people uh, we're done with their eye visits, eye exams. They would come out and I would help them pick out glasses and um, and choose their frames and then uh, fit them when they came to pick them up. I would fit them to their faces. So that was my my big thing. And um, when, so when I moved down here, I, I was till, still just, uh, I just turned 50 when I moved down here. As a matter of fact, uh, 98. We moved on in 97, I think. And we in 98, I turned 50. So uh, I went out to the mall where there was a place, Sterling Optical, and I got a job there as an optician. And um, 
And my, I only worked like three days a week and it was like from three to nine because they closed at nine. And every day driving over the bridge, over the river, the Caloosahatchee River to go to work, I, it would start to storm. And then um, you would get in there and by four o'clock, we'd half the time we'd lose, um, we have tests at the hospital this coming week. Oh, oh well, good luck there. I hope they're nothing serious. Um, I know that um, my sister had a macular degeneration. That's no fun. Towards the end there, she really couldn't see very well. But um, you, you're probably too young to worry about that yet. But anyway, um, so it would, we'd lose, lose power. The whole mall would lose power. Luck, luckily, it was an indoor mall because we had a lot of outdoor, you know, where you walk from store to store. But anyway, that's another big story. When you get old like me, you have a lot of stories. So just tell me to, to move along. Move along, Margie. Get going. Yeah, best of luck, Linda. I hope everything's okay. Oh, another one of these little cute. I think this is a little boy. Isn't he adorable? It's holding a rabbit and some carrots for the rabbit. I just love him. He seems to be in perfect condition. None of them have marks on the bottom, though. I can't believe it because they're painted so pretty. But again, I haven't looked them up. I haven't looked and tried to find them. So that's three. I might even... I don't know if I'm going to send them, sell them as a group or individual. You can give me your opinions. I would love to hear it. All these bells that I have, I have four of them out now. I think that might be it. These brown ones. Um, should I sell them as a set? Should I sell them individually? I don't know what to do because I'm relatively new at this. You know, I tried three weeks in a row. I tried to do it and I couldn't figure out how to get on there live. And then when I got on there live, you know, that's the only thing I know how to do as a live because I haven't figured out how to make a video uh, and then just post it. I go to that see where part where it says upload a video. Well, the only videos I have to upload are the lives I've already done. So uh, I can't. I have to figure that out. And I don't know. I've got to put up with this phone for another year before I can get, I don't know if I'm going to get another iPhone, but before I can get another iPhone. So here's a really pretty bowl I found. Um, no markings on the bottom, of course. As you can see, nothing there to tell me what it is. I'm sure it's just decorative. It's got this iridescent glaze on it, like a luster, luster wear, and these beautiful pansies. That's my mother loved pansies. I guess that was one of her favorites. And then the peaches on each corner, on each side here. Isn't that adorable? I just think it's so precious. Uh, I've been doing this about an hour and a half. So I have. I have a lot more stuff I could show, but I think I'll wait and maybe uh, and maybe do some maybe do some tomorrow. Uh, so if anyone's interested, tomorrow stop that. Tomorrow um, I'll have to see who is going to be on. I don't want to jump into anyone's time space, uh, but I will continue with this tomorrow, and I will. Um, Pack up what I've what I've shown already, and um, I've probably got another hour's worth of things to show. I would bet, and I don't want to do that anymore. And he got a bunch more of these, at least three more, well, at least two more of these uh, that I know I have to show, and uh, and a box here that I'm not sure what's in it, and I could show you forever. Uh, I just want you to pass the word on, see if you can get people watching me. Loved watching. You'll be back. Good old junk. That's great. Uh, pass the word because I, I really need to get rid of all this stuff. And um, I would much rather sell it on YouTube than list it. I hate listing. Um, so let me know what you're interested in. I have, uh, you know, I have lots more plates, lots more vintage plates and things. Um, 
but I'll show whatever whatever I can find for you. Um, we'll meet again. Don't know where. No, no, no. Don't know when. <laughs> no. Anyway, tomorrow uh, I would say maybe around uh, noon again or one o'clock. If if nobody's on, I don't want to interfere with anyone. I would love to do these in the evenings, but evenings are so busy for mo for our YouTubers. They've already found, um, you know, they've already chosen their spots. Can't very well jump on them. Um, so tomorrow. And uh, you take care, Linda. I hope everything goes well for all your appointments next week. Uh, I hope none of them is on at on Thursday at four for sure. I'll do that day, and I think I'm going to try to do something on Monday, uh, an actual sale on Monday. Uh, the stuff that I've shown here today, um, I'm going to start writing all of them down, looking them up, and listing, finding out um, what I can list for reasonable prices. Um, 15 and under is probably what I'm going to try for. And um, we'll see what we can find. And if anyone finds Humpty Dumpty, tell her I need her channel name or her regular name, her email. I want to give her 20% off that huge sale that she made um, Thursday uh, because I know her shipping is going to be $15 maybe. Um, and I think she bought about a hundred dollars worth. So if, if uh, I would love to give her the 20% off, I haven't heard from her. So maybe she's rethinking things uh, and that's okay too. But I would love to know, cause I have, um, I made a box. I had to make a box to fit everything in there. And uh, I would just, you know, uh, like to know what's happening because I can't send her an invoice until I hear back from her. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow on the internet. Bye, everyone. Oh, and the stream. Can I get this stream? Yeah, there we go. Bye. See ya.